Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. We got the model Ships Ahoy 21 inch fiberglass catamaran on the block. Uh, this is the introduction part one to our build series. Uh, this is going to be a twin, twin motor brushless RC boat okay uh, I've got to do quite a bit of custom work to this boat I'm gonna go over my electronics my hardware and drive line so stick around Big B what I include RC so I've had this boat for about four maybe even five months now and um, I it, it looks rough it really does right now it does um i've been sanding the seam okay it had some build up right here that we needed to profile i got the front profiled the way i want it um i've been filling any low spots and i've uh got a couple more to go so we'll be priming the boat here shortly paint will come after we install the electronics okay but but uh, i think the boat's got I think it's got a lot of potential. I really do. Whoever designed this boat, they 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 made it thick for one. Okay, it's got a nice thick layup. It's heavy in the bow, which is kind of what we want for a catamaran. Uh, the bottom, it was l well thought out. You know, it's got some potential. It really does. You know, the the tunnels got like a little like air dam diffuser deal there. Um, the brakes were thought out. I, I like it. It's got this overhang back here, which brings its own little problems that we need to overcome, which we're going to go over here in just a few. But um, I've reduced some of the weight. It weighed 650 grams, like just bare hole when I got it. Uh, it's around 600 grams now. Okay, so I've actually done quite a bit of profiling on the inside, which uh, it, it really needed it because it was hand laid, you know. Um, but i'm excited this is actually my first twin motor build and uh i've actually put a lot of thought into this into this build whether whether it looks like it or not okay it's going to be like a budget build you know i didn't put a whole lot of money into it the hull was only like a hundred bucks um the motors were they're inexpensive i, I went with a rocket 2948 3450 kv okay um that's actually i think it may be the lowest kv you can get in this motor option okay the next it's like 4300 55 6500 kv so i went with a 3400 kv i have this motor in my <laughs> miss geico 17 it's a 4300 kv option and it's like screaming fast okay so this motor uh it's a it's a three and 4S capable motor, okay? Uh, we're gonna be running uh, 3S Z2200, 120C, and then we're gonna throw the CNHL 1300, 100C 4S pack in. We're gonna basically run these batteries in, in the Sponsons, okay? We're gonna run them in the Sponsons. Uh, for battery tray, I'm basically just gonna use Velcro, just some, some like heavy duty Velcro in the sponsons boom nice and simple lightweight because the boat's already kind of heavy uh, made a custom motor mount all right i basically mocked this up out of cardboard okay made sure i can get it to fit made sure i got the design i wanted and i basically transferred it onto some two millimeter thick carbon fiber i'm basically just going over what we're using today the next video we'll start installing things so the motor is basically going to slide right into the motor mount just like so okay once i get it in the boat and i get the motor on the motor mount all i have to do is maybe a, a half to a full turn on my head screws okay it's going to save me a lot of time and energy you, you know what i'm saying so this is basically two millimeter thick carbon fiber and i've had to uh, make each each mount different you know i mean they're the same but they're cut out differently because the way the boat's laid up but they're basically going to get mounted up like right there okay and then we can basically just slide our motor in in the motor mount pretty simple okay just like that that'll get epoxy into into the boat okay so for speed control 
with the 29, 48, 34, 50s, I'm going to be using um, two 250 amp ESCs. Now, I have no idea what brand they are. These uh, speed controls were donated to the channel by Dan. Danny, Dan, I think. So, uh, thank you, Dan. I'm finally getting around to using them. Um, but I basically took two 150s and put them together to make one one unit. Okay, I'm using uh, a cooling plate on the MOSFETs. Okay, to cool down both speed controls. Uh, the reason I think I can get away with using the single cooling plate on both is I'm running. 3450, 2948s, and I, and I doubt with the twin motor configuration we're going to use 150 amps, you know, so the motors are getting everything they want in some, you know what I'm saying, so uh, I definitely think water cooling shouldn't be an issue on the ESC, so um, I actually just kind of heat shrunk them together with this large heat shrink from Heat Shrink Buddy on eBay, um, if I feel like I, I need to separate them I can but I have them in this configuration for tuning my stingers you'll see why in just a few okay um, so one of my viewers actually sent me a, a 10 rolls of hockey tape aka hatch tape and I have no idea who it was they also included a uh, hundred reusable ziploc bags so I, I appreciate it whoever it was it was an Amazon package that showed up on my doorstep so uh, a big shout out to whoever sent this big shout out to the boat gang uh, by the way I actually unlocked super thanks on my channel uh, super thanks is a way for my viewers my subscribers to support the channel support future boat builds so if you guys want to support the channel super thanks greatly appreciated um it's something I, I just unlocked i don't even know exactly how it all works so uh just throwing that out there to you guys so i'm kind of up in the air about servo choice i have two options i can go micro this is a power hd 13 kilogram micro servo that i made like this uh upside down servo mount okay and um, I would be able to take advantage of my 87 millimeter long center mounted rudder uh, push pull steering so it gives it like a scale appearance okay or I can use the larger servo and just use like a single a single push rod you know I'm gonna have to bear with me on this one this is what I have so far for my stinger configuration Okay, so um, I'm going to be running a 4mm eddy stub shaft, 0.130 cable, 3 16 brass tube for my bushing bearing, okay, and uh, 7 30 seconds tube for my stinger barrel, okay, running a Teflon liner. Alright, so what I've done here, what I've actually done is I've actually uh, made a post okay I made a post using these 1 18th scale turnbuckle rod ends um, my initial idea was to actually shorten the shank up here okay shorten the rod use the turnbuckle epoxied into the boat like so and just turn that turnbuckle and that would give me positive and negative trim but the way the eye the, the the, the size of the eye sitting on top of the brass tube it just didn't work with this like overhang it's it's 20 millimeters up and down right here so there's not a lot of room an eighth they don't make eight stingers a four millimeter stinger is too big so I've, I'm having to be creative okay so this is kind of what I got going on all right uh, I basically used a three millimeter stainless steel threaded rod okay for my post and a three millimeter coupler three millimeter to three millimeter I basically cut the bottom the bottom part of my coupler off leaving basically that and I have that mounted in the back corner of the boat so I, I don't know if you guys can see it but I have that coupler mounted in the back corner back here so I'll basically be adjusting my stinger from the inside of the boat 
okay uh, that's one of the reasons why I consolidated the ESC's so I can slide my 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 wrench in between it and adjust it that way okay uh, I'll have one mounted on each corner and then I'll probably put like a little like a little rubber uh, cap so we don't get water in the boat uh, you know put a cap over the top of the coupler but that's basically what I have so far okay um, I may actually put this larger 3 16 tube over over this so it'd be a little bit larger so it don't bend from the propeller you know torque or whatnot and basically stop it like right here so our pivot point will be in this in this neighborhood you know and I'm thinking if I make my stinger you know about 70 73 74 millimeters long I won't need a lot of up and down trim you know a little bit of trim would go a long way with the longer stinger give me more leverage back here you, you feel me so I definitely want to like double up this brass too um, like I said my original idea was to use the the carbon fiber tube with the with the bearings but um, with the carbon fiber tube I'd actually have to make a base a base for the stinger to sit on you know and pivot in and um and we may still go this route that's basically why I made this rod in right here so we can like epoxy a little piece of carbon fiber a little piece of carbon fiber on there and you know have something to hold it with but um, I'm still in the design phase. We may go carbon fiber, we may not. I think it's gonna be a fast little boat. I really do. I'm going ultra light with the build, Velcro for the batteries. Um, you know, double side tape the ESC down. I may make an ESC rack. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna go like separate the ESCs or run it singly like this, but um, I, I kind of like it like like, like it's set up right now you know I got all the hard part behind me making the the, the motor mounts kind of figuring out how I'm going to do my initial setup and figuring out the stingers like I said this was the hardest part because they don't make it just a bolt on freaking option for this boat so I had to kind of be a little bit creative you know um, still waiting on my 87 millimeter rudder it should be here in the next few days uh, along with my connectors and all the little odds and ends to finish the build so i uh, look for another upload on this boat within the week okay uh so thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time big b with ironclad rc